For me, a father is unconditional love. Being a father is a total commitment to your children. Uh, it's not part-time. A father is someone who uh, takes the time to spend with their child, who nurtures their child, who uh, is there in those tough times, there in those good times. I think it's very important to, uh, to uh, uh, have a father around for, for guidance, for stability, for, for, uh, to make sure you're on the right track. Generally speaking, I think of fathers as being uh, uh, someone that uh, you can relate to, you can talk with, you can look up to, you can model your behavior after. Um, and uh, I think he, uh, my father certainly represented all those things. Being a father to me is uh, much more than just fathering a child. Any, anybody can do that. Uh, fatherhood is taking an interest in your child, being there for them, helping them along, and helping them to learn and grow. A father's role in a, in a child's life is, is, is very necessary. Um, you know, we are set up in a very unique position as fathers to really influence how a child is going to grow and develop. I think my dad is someone that has um, been very instrumental in uh, helping to create the foundation in my life and uh, to uh, teach me how not only how to live my life to, but also to be what I'm going to be down the road. Dad never really told us what we had to do. Dad showed us what we had to do and he, you know, nowadays you call it modeled the behavior. I don't think we knew what that meant when we were kids, but I think that each of us learned how to live our lives by just watching my father. Switching back between a, a, a coach mentor, confidant, a buddy, uh, I think being able to sometimes compartmentalize those uh, interactions or transactions with uh, my sons help me, help them uh, in their growth. Father can really uh, give a young person confidence, uh, a sounding board to listen to problems and our ideas and share the benefit of their experience. Uh, a father can also help you stand strong when you get challenged with tough issues. I think one of the most important things that you can do as a parent, and especially as a father, is to be consistent. Uh, consistency is something that all of us in our youth uh, really find important. If you get mixed messages about a lot of different um, uh, values and or characteristics or directions that you should take in life, uh, it's most confusing to us as we go through life and maybe uh, we never get uh, the, the proper direction uh, that we should because our parents haven't been consistent with us. I guess the one thing that really allows you to grow as a person, um, we always told them that trees grow best in the valley. They don't grow best up on top of a mountain. So the times that you struggle, the adversity you go through, uh, it's how you handle it, how you, you you come out of that and I think those are the times when you grow the most and, uh, and those are probably, uh, that's probably one piece of advice that I know as a dad uh, con continually shared with them when they were growing up because I've not met anybody that hasn't gone through adversity or tough times and, and that's what makes you a stronger person, that's what really allows you to be the, the person that you will eventually become as you become an adult. When I was very young, I was probably uh, 10 years old, I used to go to Columbus with him. And uh, he would take me and put me in some committee room and leave me there and he'd go off to some other committee room, presumably. And uh, he'd come back and ask me what they talked about. And I'd have to tell him what they talked about. And that's sort of how I learned the legislative process. And you know, when I think back on those years and those days, he was really giving me a lot of valuable lessons that I couldn't have gotten anywhere else. And it is all of that activity, all that time spent with my dad that really prepared me to be the mayor of the great city of Cincinnati. My dad is uh, going to be 86 uh, years old here in about six weeks. Uh, he's been the hero, my hero most of my life. Uh, he taught me so much about life and just how to be there. Although he worked a lot of hours, uh, I always knew that he had time for me. Uh, and he taught me a lot about business too. He taught me about, you know, have a good product and everything else will be fine. My parents worked two jobs. Uh, and you know, I grew up in the ghetto, very poor. And you know, a lot of times you don't, you don't see your father late at night when he comes home to sleep. He gets up early the next day to go to work and my mother was the same way. So 
Where I was at Chris Prasadics High School in Indianapolis, Indiana, we depended on the coaches, the teachers, who were, who were like second parents, surrogate parents, who told us about certain things, about cleanliness, about uh, how to treat the young ladies, and uh, study habits, and, and this life in general. Don't run, don't run around with, with useless people who are gonna get you in trouble. Uh, and all these things because peer pressure was so important. I guess it's so more important now than it was years ago, but, but the teachers and the coaches were real, real like real fathers, fathers and, and mothers to us, really. You know, there's no playbook and there's no rule book for being a, a, a good father or a good parent. Uh, on the other hand, there's a lot that we can learn from each other, from our experiences with each other, uh, from people who have uh, counseled with and observed others uh, playing the role of father. And uh, so uh, sometimes just to have the benefit of other people's experiences, to learn from other people's mix mistakes, uh, these things can help us. And, and so uh, a program like uh, Talbert House offers, I, I think would be something of uh, great value for many people. The Fatherhood Project has helped me to be a better father and in turn has enriched my children's lives. It's truly made a difference. It gives you the knowledge uh, base that you may not have because you weren't able to share certain things with your father about being a good father. Just the information alone that's provided in terms of a good father is very helpful. I think the Talbert House program really provides uh, that kind of coaching and, and teaching that uh, is really important for young fathers who are struggling to be uh, good parents to their children. The Fatherhood Program does a couple basic things. Um, first of all, it tries to teach skills to, to men on how to be a better parent. You know, we spend a lot of time in education on teaching math skills and teaching driving skills and teaching everything else, but teaching someone their most important job, how to be a parent, we don't do. Um, and many men don't have those natural instincts that, uh, of course, many women have. And uh, so we're just not as good at being parents right from the start, especially if there hasn't been a role model in our lives to teach us how to be that, uh, that strong father. Uh, so the first thing is teaching skills. And the next thing is trying to build a support network among uh, other folks in the same position. Um, and those are the two key components of the fatherhood program, skill building and, and support. I think what you really have to do as a dad is to get the right values to your children so they, they can make their own decisions for themselves based on what's right and what's wrong and not just what uh, the pressure group says to do. It's the, the desire and the willingness to look for things that are uh, that, that you have in common and, and things that you can share in a in a positive way as you um, build that relationship uh, between the father and the son. My younger brother had said, and I think that it's true, that my father is a big fan of St. Ignatius. And um, St. Ignatius said, love is shown more through deeds than through words. And I think that my father has lived his life that way. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Michael Curitan. I'm Oscar Robertson. I'm Rob Reifsnyder. Bob Castellini. Jim Schwab. I'm Anthony Munoz. I'm Harold Howard. I'm Mark Mallory. I'm Neil Tillo. I'm Richard Linder. I'm Michael Fisher. And I'm a proud father. And I'm the proud father of Tiana Howard. I'm John Barrett. And I'm the proud father of three wonderful children. I'm William Wesley. And I'm a proud father of Billy, Mick, and Nathaniel. My name is Beth Stoutberg, and I am Bob Stauberg's favorite daughter, and I am a proud daughter, and I'm his only daughter. <laughs>